Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brian here. I'm just going to go over another box of movies with you guys today. Um, just a mix of different things. I got a lot of TV series, more independent horror, and then a bunch of random stuff. Uh, some Dollar Tree titles, etc, etc. So let's just dive right on in here. So the first uh, couple of uh, TV series I have is the Sopranos uh, season one. Um, I've seen parts of it, but not the whole thing. So I picked this up for I think I think it was like five dollars, but it's it's the special edition version where it opens up like this. There's like different like a pull out of here like that, and then the four disc set. So I'll definitely rewatch that. Um, I found this randomly at a Big Lots, and it's the only copy they had. Uh, I remember the show, but it's been such a long time since I've seen it, so... Uh, it's not really my thing, per se, but I figured I'd give it another watch. Especially since it has Jessica Biel in it. It is seasons 1 through 4 of 7th Heaven. In this really thick case. Uh, 24 disc set. It is... 60 some of 66 hours of material so can't wait for that uh <clears throat> i think i've shown this off and actually no i don't think i've ever shown this off to you guys um i went to a thrift store a blue ridge thrift that was moving so they were everything was like 65 percent off so i got the uh, all four seasons of the oc so season one Season two, three, and four. For let's see, <clears throat> they were originally five dollars a piece. Twenty, sixty-five percent off twenty. That's that's a good deal for for like I think that's the whole series. I don't think it lasted more than four seasons. <clears throat> I have a couple of Warner Archive releases here. I have uh, <clears throat> Blink. This is uh, a thriller from 1994, uh, <clears throat> starring Madeline Stowe, Aidan Quinn, Laurie Metcalf, uh, James Ramar, and Peter Friedman. Uh, I've never seen it, but I heard it's really good, so check that out soon. Um, I have a Warner Archive release of a film that was based on a true story about Ted Bundy starring Mark Harmon. It is the deliberate stranger. Um, haven't seen this one yet, but uh, Frederick Forrest and M. Emmett Walsh also star in this film. So can't wait to check that out. I have the original Step for Wives. This is from 1975. I don't believe it has a Blu-ray for the original. I know the remake is getting one here pretty soon in the next couple of weeks, so if I want to pick that up. Speaking of the remake, I have it right here on DVD. I'm going to pick up the Blu-ray to, to upgrade. This is an old Blockbuster rental. It even has the sticker on the back. I believe I remember where I picked this up. I don't think I got this at Blockbuster when they were going out of business around here, but I, I might have. So this is from 2005 when this uh, when they got this DVD. Yeah, January 19th. I uh, got a, a horror movie based in the snow called Let It Snow. I haven't watched this yet. I've heard mixed things about it, so. I have season two of the original Dennis the Menace here. Uh, what year is this from? Uh, this is season two, so I'm assuming it's from, 19, it says the, the show lasted 1959 to 1963. Okay, this is from 1960 and 1961. There's 38 episodes on here. And it is five discs. I've just said. 
I have the uh, Escape to Witch Mountain 2 movie collection here on DVD. Escape to and Return from. Uh, both star uh, Kim Richards and Ike Eisenman. Uh, Donald Pleasance is in the first film. Christopher Lee is in the second film. Both are directed by uh, John John Hugh. So, I've seen them. It's just been such a long time. Uh, here's a film that I've been meaning to check out. Starring N Natalia Dyer from uh, Stranger Things. This is a uh, risque movie, I, from what I understand. Uh, it's called Yes, God, Yes. It's about a Catholic student who discovers more than what she bargained for after an innocent AOL chat turns racy. Basically, it's about um, masturbation and, and sin and whatnot. So, um, I got it mostly because it's her. I, I like I like her and her her acting from Stranger Things. So, yeah, check that out. Uh, we have the 19th season of The Simpsons. Um, I, I get them as they get released, so. Uh, we have the double feature of the Blue Lagoon and Return to the Blue Lagoon. Uh, they're both in little uh, thin cases, so. Uh, we have the DVD that really needs a Blu-ray release of King Ralph, starring John, Go <coughs> John Goodman and Peter O'Toole and John Hurt. It's been such a long time since I've seen this one. We have the snapper case here of Kurt Russell and Kevin Costner in 3,000 Miles to Graceland. <coughs> snapper. Uh, I've heard a, I've heard good reviews on this one. Uh, you also get Courtney Cox, Christian Slater, Kevin Pollock, David Arquette, and Howie Long. We have the collector's edition of uh, Amazon Women on the Moon. Uh, this is uh, just a bunch of different like uh, late night TV, low budget sci-fi films and canned laughter filled sitcoms packed all together. Um, you have five different directors on here. You got Joe Dante, uh, John Landis, Peter Horton, Carl Godlieb, and Robert K. Weiss. This is from 1986. And it says, starring lots of other actors. It doesn't say, it literally says that. That's funny. I got to see. That is hilarious. I'll watch that eventually. Uh, this film is um, out of print. This is an old Anchor Bay release of a film called Ghost in the Machine. Uh, this is from 1993, starring uh, Karen Allen, Ted Marco, and Chris Mulkey. This is a Rachel Talalay film. Uh, she's the one that directed uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. And she recently did a bunch of Doctor Who. I think she was, I don't know what she did in that, but I know she was attached to that. So I'll give that a watch soon. Uh, never seen this movie, but the soundtrack is fantastic. Um, this is a film called <clears throat> Love in a 45. Starring Gil Bellows, Renee Zellweger, and Rory Cochran. Uh, this is a dash of Reservoir Dogs and Drugstore Cowboy with a hot young cast. Uh, I know, I remember listening to the soundtrack a lot because it's got the Meat Puppets, uh, Butthole Surfers, Jesus and Mary Chain, Mazzy Star, Reverend Horton Heat, and Johnny Cash. So I, I should probably give that a watch at some point. Uh, we have a new horror film called Killer Therapy. Uh, never seen it. I heard it's pretty decent. It stars Tom Matthews, PJ Souls, Adrian King. Uh, I can never say his name right. Dag Fer Furch, the kid that played the, the Michael Myers in the Rob Zombie uh, film Halloween. 
Yeah, looks pretty violent and bloody. So, speaking of violent and bloody, another uh, newer horror film here called Fear Farm. It's like in the almost kind of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it it takes place on a, in a haunted corn maze. And they're basically, these four high school seniors are supposed to make it through in under two hours. They'll win a big cash prize. But you know, no one ever gets out. And yeah, and basically the family that runs the place is a bunch of human skin harvesters. So pretty, pretty nasty, right? Uh, I already upgraded this. This is the uh, DVD of the Warner Archive of uh, From Hell It Came. It's about a killer tree stump. Yes, a killer tree stump. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go in detail about this one, but this is a, a horror film, 200 horror films set, 50 discs over 260 hours. It is called uh, Tales of Terror. It's got that nice little window. And the only bad thing about it, you guys, is everything comes in sleeves. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. But you do have a nice little booklet inside. And it tells you uh, everything about the movies here. Like... Uh, the cast, the year it was released, black and white or color, rated, not rated, and a synopsis. So you get all that inside. I know a lot of these are public domain titles, but some of them have never been released on a Blu-ray. So I figured I'd pick it up. I found it for a good price too. This is like way out of print and I got it for like 20 bucks. So a win is a win, right? Uh, we have the animated series of Dumb and Dumber. I vaguely remember this being on the air back in... Ooh, I don't see a date on here. I want to say late 90s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, speaking of uh, short-lived cartoon series, we have The Oblongs. Uh, this is from 2001. Uh, I vaguely remember this one as well, um, the two disc set, they're all, they're all, uh, burnt copies though, they're all pressed, uh, on-demand discs. I'm trying to remember who did the voices in this, in this, I'm not sure, it doesn't say. Uh, another short-lived series called Life As We Know It. Who's in this? It says it's from the uh, producers of Freaks and Geeks, which also was a short-lived TV series that was fantastic. Uh, I don't remember this actually saying who's in here. No, it doesn't say. But you get to, it's a three disc set. You get uh, 13 episodes. And this is from, it says 2005, that's when the, the DVD was released. So I don't, I don't couldn't tell you when this, when this actually aired, unless I look it up, but I'll look that up later for myself. Got some, uh, yeah, Clown Town, I've seen it, it's, it's an alright movie, just about a bunch of killer clowns. Uh, we got Toxic Shark, Predator World, yes I know, Wild Eye, Disgusting. We have the Rockford Files Season 1 with James Gardner, all 23 episodes. This is put out by Mill Creek. There's a classic uh, TV show from the early 90s, <clears throat> Living Single, season one. I remember watching that when I was young, a lot younger. Uh, 
Uh, we have a couple horror films here I haven't watched yet. This is Brutal Colors. The Linda Vista Project. Not sure about that one. Uh, Warriors of Terra with Edward Furlong. Never watched this one yet either. Uh, I think he's the only one I recognize in here too. Yep. Uh, we have Afterlife Season 2 with Andrew Lincoln. A lot of these are Dollar Tree and uh, Dollar General titles. But we have Absence. I don't recognize anybody in that one. Uh, we have Steven Tyler's... Uh, out on a limb. Uh, this is a little documentary about his country career. We got Starship Apocalypse. We have a th uh, th uh, triple feature here. Long Time Dead, My Little Eye, and Hood Rat. The only one I've seen is My Little Eye. That was an interesting... Uh, not really found footage, but it's like a real world. It takes place in a house and stuff happens and people die. And yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, we have a full moon, a couple full moon features here. We have Totem. I haven't watched that one yet. Uh, Head of the Family. <laughs> this movie is really, really weird. Um, I've seen it, but it's been such a while, a long time. So there I relive that we have a double feature grindhouse uh movie here of within the woods and mutation and it's on a flipper disc and then the triple feature here of monster go home the monster's revenge and the monster's family portrait i have these two on blu-ray and I don't, this one I don't think has a blue ring, so I'll keep that in the collection for now. But yeah, the first two are on one disc, and then Family Portrait is by itself. And a couple more stacks. We have season one of The War at Home, starring Michael Rappaport, uh, Remy Malik. Dean Collins, Kyle Sullivan, and Kaylee DeFerre, and Anita Barone. The only two I recognize are Michael and Rami, but this is from 2005-2006. Uh, I don't remember it, though. Uh, this one's, this is a funny, like, scary movie kind of ripoff. It's called Shriek, If You Know What I Did Last Friday the 13th, starring Tiffany Amber Thyssen. Coolio, Tom Arnold, Shirley Jones, Julie Benz, Simon Rex, Danny Strong. It's just another uh, parody spoof. It's funny, though. Uh, this is an interesting title from Massacre Video. It is Night Terror. Uh, it's, it's, your, it's a... Uh, like an anthology if i remember correctly yeah you get shriek gasp and stare three different uh stories on here 1989 81 minutes directed by michael weaver it is very it's a very interesting uh late 80s film uh we have the orphans aka satan's slaves this is the walmart um slip cover but it's, it's called Satan's Slaves. Obviously, they didn't want people to see that name. So they renamed it The Orphans. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet. We have a Wild Eye triple feature here of Werewolf Island. Or, sorry, four. Uh, would that be a quadruple feature? Werewolf Island, The Snarling, Cold Ground, and Wolf House. I have seen Wolf House and it was awful. <laughs> really bad. I haven't seen the other three though. Uh, we have another anthology here. A Night of Horror. Uh, Nightmare Radio. I haven't watched this one yet. Looks interesting though. Uh, and the 
classic from my childhood. Uh, Diagnosis Murder Season 1 with uh, Dick Van Dyke. Uh, Scott Bayo, uh, Victoria Rowell, and Barry Van Dyke. I got this at a Dollar Tree. Uh, let me just turn here. They're all stacked. I think it's four discs. But they're all stacked on top of each other. Uh, okay, we got... I think this is, yeah, this is the one that's broken. Uh, let me take the disc out. I gotta, I gotta fix that. So we got Casper, uh, Casper Volume One. Sorry, the the insert, the thing that holds it together is broken. And then Volume Two. Alien Autopsy here with um, uh, Harry Dean Stanton, B Bill Pullman, DeClean Donnelly, Aunt, uh, Aunt Mick Partlin, Nicole Hiltz. Uh, I haven't seen this one yet. I usually like enjoy Alien films. Uh, we have Chimera Strain, another Dollar Tree title. Covenant, another Dollar Tree title. The Dirty Lies. I got this because Scout Taylor Compton's in it. I enjoy her acting. We got Dwelling. We have Evil. We have the HBO 10 uh, episode series of Hitchhiker. It's another Dollar Tree find. Just happy to find that. Uh, we have Mississippi Murder with uh, Malcolm McDowell and Luke Goss. We have a BBC Relic. This is a two disc set. Uh, we have Boo. This movie was interesting. Not my favorite, but I thought it was okay. Uh, American Poltergeist 2. The first one absolutely sucked, so I'm not holding my breath for this one. We got some Blu-rays in here. We got High Voltage. Good Neighbors. Distorted. I got this at a uh, Goodwill Gandhi two disc set. We got Piranha with the with the very cool slip cover with the Velcro. Opens up and then it comes out like that. We have Rites of Passage. Storage 24. That was a good movie. I enjoyed that. Uh, Tim and Eric haven't watched it yet. The re the uh, the sequel to Screamers. Uh, Screamers: The Haunting. Heard that one wasn't very good though. Uh, playback. Uh, I found this at a. Uh, where did I find this? I didn't find this. No, I did. I did find this at an FYE. This is the complete collection of Degrassi Junior High. I don't I don't think I paid forty-eight dollars for it. I think it was cheaper than that, but yep. Yeah. I hate when they used to put the stickers on the on the artwork. It's gonna be a pain to get those off. Uh I don't forget. There's uh, forty-two episodes on here, three seasons worth of I upgraded this already, 3 o'clock high. I have the Blu-ray now. Uh, another Night of the Living Dead, which I have on Criterion. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five other movies on here that are pretty much um, uh, public domain titles, but 
I think one of them I don't have, which is Night of Bloody Horror, I think. But I have House on Haunted Hill, Dementia 13, The Brain That Wouldn't Die, and Nosferatu. Two. Six films to die for. We have uh, Dennis the Menace here with Malter, Malter Matthau, Christopher Lloyd, and uh, how's the kid's name? Uh, I think his name is Mason Gamble, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Lee Thompson's also in here. This was directed by Nick Castle, The, the Shape. Uh, we have Apocalypse Road. Bone Jangles, which I've seen. I remember it being okay. Uh, we have the Mega Shark 8 movie collection. Uh, Toxic Shark, which I just showed earlier. Shark in Venice, Malibu Shark Attack, Shark Man, Shark Attack, Shark Attack 2, Shark Attack 3, and Shark Zone. Uh, two to seven. I already upgraded this to Blu ray, but it is The Woods, uh, starring Agnes Buckner, Bruce Campbell, Patricia Clarkson. I remember Bruce Campbell only being in here for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, she plays uh, Agnes's dad in this movie. Interesting. We have The Church. I've seen it. It's cheesy. It's silly. But Bill Mosley's acting is superb in here. So is uh, Lisa Wilcox. Clint Howard is only in here for like ten minutes. Uh, Ashley Williams, it's good for PG-13, but I wouldn't go out of my way to watch it again. Uh, we have an old Synapse release of a Jess Franco film called Exorcism. I don't remember where I got this from. Uh, starring, uh... Lena Romay, Jess Franco, Catherine, well, I can't remember, it's, it's like a French name, Le Ferrari, and uh, Nadine, uh, Nadine Pascal, 1974 release. Uh, we have the Atomic Cafe. This is a docurama from 1982. Like a, like a drama comedy documentary and last but not least we have the complete saved by the bell collection yes including the original good morning miss bliss this is a 16 disc set altogether uh, you get good morning miss bliss the original saved by the bell the college years and the two movies. So, definitely interesting. Glad I have to find that for relatively cheap. Anyways, that's all for, for this box. Um, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, always take care of yourselves out there. Happy hunting. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.